Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are tearing down the Fairphone 4. Possibly the first phone in a very long time that actually wants you to do this, that wants you to be able to take components out, replace them, repair them and own the hardware yourself. Very excited to see just how easy it is to do this. So let's get into it. Let's get the teardown going and let's answer the question. Now, immediately a great sign is that you can buy the separate components on the Fairphone website and from other suppliers as well, like iFixit. So there's definitely opportunity here. Let's get it apart and let's see how repairable this thing is. Okay, so let's get into it. And actually, we're instantly going to have one up on most modern phones the fact that the back just comes off there's a nice little groove here that you can use to pop the back off it's definitely quite firmly on there but easy enough to get off and here we go straight into the phone and into the second repairability thing which you don't see on many phones and that is the battery just comes out yep the battery is not glued in it's not fixed you can just take it out and you can get a new battery. Love to see that. So we're going to pop that over there as well out of the way. And then looking in here, we've got a couple of different kind of modules. Uh, you can see there's a, a bit here with one screw in it that says one. And then there's a bigger bit here that says two. And that's got a picture of the camera and a speaker. So I believe this is one module. And then there's another module down here that can come out. And presumably this as well. Interestingly enough, uh, these are all kind of normal Phillips head screws, if that's going to focus. But um, down here, these are hex screws. So maybe this bit's not really meant to be user removed, but we're going to do it anyway. OK, so let's do the sensible thing and let's start with taking off the section that says number one. And just that one screw, it looks like, yep, that just pops off. A little bit of plastic protection, and you've got some ribbon cables here, which I'm guessing are for all the different components that are part of this module. So let's just uh, get those off. There we go. So those are all disconnected now. And let's go ahead with uh, number two and get what looks like these five screws off. Right, with all those off, this should now just kind of pop off the cover here. Yep, like that. And around this side as well. There we go. And that's this whole module removed. So this is really what I mean about the repairability of this. The whole camera module, that's all now a separate piece that you could just buy and replace. And then in here, we've got what looks to be the main board, this is the front facing camera in there. Uh, but let's continue down, down the bottom here and take a look at this section. So let's get these uh, six screws off here and see what's under here. Okay, and so with those screws, this should also just pop straight out like that. S super easy and Again, this has got, I think, the speaker on there uh, and the vibrating function as well, I think. Uh, so that's all of that just pops straight off very cleanly. So we'll pop that to one side as well. Editor Zachary here. If you have made it this far into the video and you're enjoying my content, please do hit that subscribe button. We are still a very small channel and 99.1% .1 of you are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and help me on my journey to a thousand subscribers. Thank you very much and back to the video. So next up, let's take this piece off here. Like I said, these are hex screws, as you can kind of see. So I think that might be where it's supposed to stop. Um, from a easy repairability point with these modules, but let's go deeper. And there we go. This just comes off again, just another plating. And yes, as you can see, the whole kind of PCB 
runs this whole length down here as well. So that's kind of just securing the main PCB to the inside. So the next thing that we can take off here is the USB-C port here. It's just got a little ribbon cable and as you can see it's secured by a screw that we've already removed. So if I just pop off the ribbon cable, you can see the whole USB-C module. And again, super repairable, take that and you can get a new one without a problem at all. So at the top here, we do have the little camera, front facing camera module, which again is just secured by a ribbon cable. So that's come off nice and easily. And we've also got uh, the loudspeaker here as well. Also just on a little ribbon cable. So again, super repairable, all these extra small little components that you really can um, just deal with. And I think at this point, the whole board should now be able to just lift out. So if we can, yep, there we go. And just like that, the whole board is out. Everything is kind of, the component wise, is all protected by these shields. So there's not much to worry about there, but again, you could replace the full board if you wanted to. So with the main board out, all that's really left here is the screen itself and then the actual frame of the device. You can see there's some the actual uh, ribbon cable for the screen. Uh, we're gonna leave it there. I'm pretty sure if we take these outer screws out as well, we can start peeling it apart, but I'm not sure if the screen is laminated. And as this isn't my phone, I have to send this back. Uh, I am gonna put it back in one piece and make sure it's working still. So. There we have it though. This is an incredibly repairable phone. You can repair, replace the battery, individual speaker, USB, camera. You've got the back cameras. You've got the vibration uh, unit and the loudspeaker. You've got everything you could want realistically to replace. Very impressive. Okay, let's get this back together and make sure it works. <laughs> There we have it all back together all working just fine great to see just how easy that was wasn't it um i loved it okay we're gonna wrap it up there for today i hope you've enjoyed this video i i've always enjoyed tearing down hardware that's kind of something i've done for many years not always successfully put it back together but we've learned and improved so i hope you enjoy this kind of content and i will see you again very soon for another video so thank you very much for watching bye for now